Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and welcome to my tower. As you can tell, we just checked in to our room here at Disney's All-Star Sports Resort. We are staying in the Hoops Hotel and I will show you a view of our room. We are on the third floor. We are room 2305, if anyone is wondering. But let me give you a quick room tour, even though if you've been to a Disney resort before, you know what this room looks like. But either way, I still wanna show you guys. And the thing with this room is I've never been in a room with this layout. I'm always with the door on the right side and then you know all the furniture on the other side too. So this is kind of different. And then as you could tell, we have the Hey Disney, our typical Murphy bed. I'm actually not gonna take that down because I like the space and I feel like this table is shorter than I thought it would be. But yeah, I just wanna like kind of be able to sit here and you know, do whatever we want. So that'll be nice to not have to pull that Murphy bed down. The beverage cooler, can't wait to order some waters and put them in there. I'm gonna do that soon actually, probably like right now. Typical coffee section. So they give you some Joffrey's decaf and then the Disney Resort blend. You have some Earl Grey tea, green tea, you know, your creamers and your little coffee cups and stuff like that, ice bucket. And then I love that the screen has both of our names on it. That's so fun. And then of course, you know, the typical drawer dresser situation. And here's your safe and some extra pillows. Then here's all the drawers. I cannot wait to unload into them because I've just been living out of my suitcase for the last couple days. All three drawers are the same size. And then of course, here's the most magical bed <laughs> with like the little Mickey, Minnie and Donald behind. So cute. I usually like to keep my suitcases underneath because there is so much storage. So that's probably what we'll go ahead and do when we unpack. Typical bathroom section. They give you how many hangers is this? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give these ten hangers, an ironing board, a blow dryer, obviously the iron too. They give you some hand soap, some, you know, tissue, stuff like that. This is the lighting that you get at the All-Star Sports Resort. Actually, all the All-Star Resorts, but you also get this little makeup mirror with two different, like, you know, magnifications. And then your typical bathroom with terrible water pressure. That's my biggest complaint every time I stay at an all-star resort. But yeah, they give you uh, plenty of towels and clothesline to hang your wet clothes. Oh, it's actually, okay, no, those are still H2O products, but they just rebranded, I guess, to Sea Marine. I don't know, but there's sea salt body wash, conditioner, shampoo, and you know, everything is nice and clean. There's no shower curtains anymore, which is really nice to have the glass. That's pretty much it. We do have an adjoining room, so obviously that's gonna stay locked, but here's just our little resort tour or room tour. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack now, which I can't wait to do, and then kind of get myself together, take some pictures, go to Disney Springs, all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and unpack. Here's the view directly outside our room. We're literally directly behind a basketball. I could kind of touch it. That's kind of cool. I really love this section and it's perfect because we have the basketball look planned, which I was gonna actually shoot today, but I'm actually just gonna wear that to Hollywood Studios and then get our pictures before we leave. But now we are heading to the lobby to pick up our DoorDash order because we ordered some waters. And then we're going to also get some resort mugs, check out the shops. I have some trading pins, so. Let's go see what's going on in the lobby. Also, a little weather check. It is currently 335. It is 92 degrees, but it feels a lot cooler than at the game yesterday, obviously, because there's a little bit of clouds. Here's the surf section because you have to kind of go through this to get, obviously, to the lobby from the Hoops Hotel. super loud in here. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear me, but I did just walk into the new Ever After, I used to call the Jewelry Co. I don't know what it is now, but I'm just going to get these two for my poo look for Epcot tomorrow. And they have like a huge Nightmare Before Christmas wall. They have like obviously all the headbands and stuff that you can make over here. This little Marie section's really cute. And here's kind of what it looks like in here in case you haven't been able to get in here yet. And they do have all the Inside Out characters currently. I know that they sold out like the first day. And those are just right over here. 
But yeah, it's like really jumping in here right now. So I'm just gonna get my couple pictures, check out, and then I will see you guys at dinner. We made it to our dinner reservation at City Works. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick overview of the menu. And I'm going to be getting the smoked cheddar mac and cheese, which I kind of want a salad or some tacos, but I really picked this place for the mac and cheese. So I feel like I have to try it. So there's that side. And then also for our appetizer, we got the pretzel bites. So yeah, if you want to like pause to read or obviously, you know, you can just go ahead and look up this menu yourself. But this is located just outside Cirque du Soleil all the way at the back of Disney Springs. I don't know what like this land is called, but yeah, it's really nice in here. It's kind of like a, you know, sports bar kind of atmosphere. I am very excited to eat because I am hungry. All right, so here's our appetizer. These are the pretzel bites. They look pretty basic. Here's my pasta or mac and cheese. I think it looks really good. I tend to not like cubed chicken like that because I feel like it's always too chewy for me, but I will try and let you guys know. And then also here's a peek at Brad's. Just plain burger with fries. He's a very simple guy, but yeah, we'll try this and let you know how we like it. All right, I'm going to mix this up because sauce is all like on the bottom. I guess we'll start with just a noodle. Let's see. Okay. Let's try chicken. Mm. The only thing that I feel like it's missing is some pepper, but we have some, so let's try it. So far, 10 out of 10. So we are all done with our dinner, and I think I would actually rate the mac and cheese more so like a, maybe like an eight out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like it just needed like a sauce or something. Like I need, I need spice. I can't just have bland mac and cheese. And the pepper helped. <laughs> That's not true. Okay. So this isn't bad, but it's not anything to really write home about. So I think I'm gonna rate this a five out of ten. But yeah, it is six o'clock now, and we are going to World of Disney, and then after that we will be completely done here because we've been here it feels like for four days straight so I'm just going through one more time just to make sure that there's absolutely nothing that I want to get I don't think that there is but I haven't looked at their pins just yet so we will see I will give you guys a little bit of a tour because I don't know what I filmed and what I haven't honestly I think these last couple days have been a blur but I'll still show you around World of Disney and see what they have so up front they have the Halloween collection which I feel like is already kind of dated and then over off to the side is just a bunch of plushies which I am not interested in <laughs> Over here they have some new emos, but again, just not any that I can think of. Oh, the Aurora one is definitely new. She's cute. So here's a little look at their pin wall. I feel like I'm always disappointed with the pins that they have in here because they just never have enough. But this is definitely brand new. I have not seen this one yet. This one says, Honorary Gold, Welcome Foolish Mortals. Just like the princess one that I got. This test track one is really cute too, actually. And I really want to get a mystery pin pack, but I still just don't know which one I want to get. And none of these are really calling to me, I think, because none of them are like super new. Maybe the Zootopia one would be cute. What are the options? Oh no, the Stitch one's actually really cute. I don't know, I think I'm gonna hold out on these, but maybe this will be one of my park mystery pins if I can't find something else that I like. Oh, that's a really cute fall pin. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh my gosh, wait, I kind of want that. That's so cute. And they've had this hat for a while specifically, but I don't know, I think it's really cute. They do have a ton of hats this time. I don't remember them having this many before. Like this used to be an entire t-shirt wall. That one's interesting. I like this green Avengers one. I like a distressed look on a hat. I think it looks good. And then at the time that I am filming this, they do still have a Halloween collection. Today is September 30th, but I feel like it's almost like Halloween season is over, so I'm personally not gonna shop any of this, but pretty much everything that is online is here, except for that orange tie-dye, like Mickey Vampire shirt. And the kids section is the same. I just feel like it's just not as exciting as it normally is. Still have this white Walt Disney World cup, which I do think is really cute. They also currently have the um, Fantasia tumbler. And I actually thought it was gonna be made out of like uh, ceramic, but it's actually plastic. It's still really cute though. No mugs. I have a 25th Tarzan one, that one's kinda cool. Oh, that's cool. Come on, let it focus. Yeah, I don't know, that's a pretty uh, sick mug if you ask me. $25. So they have this new Pirates collection. So they have this fleece zip up. Let me see how much this is, just out of curiosity. 
$60, not terrible. They have some shorts. This lounge fly's been around for a little while. This tee is new. This long sleeve tee. They also have this tee, which I don't think is too bad. If I was a Pirates <laughs> fan, I feel like I would like this. But I'm really not the biggest Pirates fan, so I wouldn't get it. But I don't know. It's kind of like cool. I haven't seen something like that before. All right, so they have some new tees. So this Walt and Mickey one might actually have been around for a little bit. But this new tie-dye one I think is kind of cute. It's not something I've seen before. I may think about that. I kind of just want to see what the parks have, but I definitely could see myself buying that. I just don't really love white t-shirts because I feel like I get them so dirty so fast. And some other new styles. Don't love any of these really. This one I may actually need. That's so cute. This one's really cute too. This is another one I could definitely see myself getting because again, it's really colorful and I like a like solid color tee. This one's kind of cute too. I haven't seen that one yet. This 1928 one I think is pretty cute. This Mickey one is pretty decent too. The Raw Connected one is really cute too. <gasps> Stop, they have a Lizzie McGuire one. Okay, wait. Yeah, nope, that's coming in with me right now. Thank you. Here's what this one looks like opened. Yep. So cute. So it is now 7.30, we are back in our room. I'm about to shower and get myself all ready to go to Epcot tomorrow. So that's when the vlogs will like really pick up and get fun. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it will help other people to find my channel. Also subscribe for our park vlogs starting next week and I will see you real soon. Bye.